Hello there everybody, this is Ryan Castle speaking to you from Highland Park High School. Along with Tyler Sloan and our engineer Matt Graham, it's time for District 10 6A Volleyball here on the Sports Graham Network as the Highland Park Scots host the Richardson Lady Eagles. The Scots coming in with a record of a season of 23-11. They are eight up and one down in district play. The one loss coming a couple of weeks ago here at home to the Pierce Mustangs. And the Lady Eagles Eagles of Richardson High School, four games under 500, a 14 and 18 record on the season, and five and four in district play, and currently hanging on to the fourth place out of uh, District 10 6A. And uh, Tyler, this should be a good match tonight. The uh, Scots obviously heavily favored against uh, Richardson, but as uh, we well know, uh, that's why they play the games, not on paper, but actually on the court, and uh, Highland Park trying to come out and get win number 24 of the season. Yeah, it doesn't ha matter how much you're expected to win a game. You have to go out and execute the game plan. There's always that those couple of trap games within the schedule where if you hit a roll and you give a team a little snip uh, of being able to take away a victory, especially on your home court, then Highland Park could be in some trouble, so look for them to try and come out extremely focused here in the first set. They lost a set to Richardson their first meeting before eventually winning in four sets. So they know this is a team that has some talent. Yeah, certainly uh, no doubt about that. I believe that was one of two sets that Highland Park had lost before their uh, four set loss to uh, Richardson Pierce a couple of weeks ago. And uh, that was an exciting match for anybody that was there and able to witness it. That fourth set going 32-30 in a Good matchup between the top two teams in this district. By the way, we'll be there for the rematch of those two on October the 28th, the final regular season game of the year as the Scots trying to exact some revenge against Richardson Pierce. And that one, but first they've got to take care of business tonight against Richardson High School. And uh, Tyler, you and I got a chance to see them, uh, Highland Park that is, against Mesquite a couple of weeks ago, and they looked very good in that match. A lot of very talented hitters on this squad. They looked really sharp. They didn't make that many errors, and that's really the, the key to any sort of success that you have on the volleyball court is cutting down on those unforced errors. The service attack was superb up front. They have a lot of weapons that can really throw some kills down on top of the net. You saw them in warm-up, in fact, and they were looking sharp from our eyes. So a lot of good things from that Mesquite game, but a tougher opponent, Richardson, probably going to be able to get more balls back on Highland Park side. We'll see how they handle it. The, uh, Scott's going on several big service runs in that uh, match against Mesquite. And they're hoping for more of the same here tonight against the Lady Eagles. We're glad you're with us on our live video coverage of Highland Park Volleyball. We will have one more match for you in the regular season, and then uh, the Scots will make their way into the playoffs, either as the first or second seed. That will be determined uh, later on in the year when they have that rematch with Pierce. Of course, that is if neither of those two teams slip up before then. And the teams will be introduced on the floor for tonight's match. Richardson will be in solid purple jerseys and black volleyball shorts. And the Scots will be in their home Highland Park blues and golds with white trim. Scots in capital gold letters on the back of the jerseys. The Eagles, as we... Uh, we're talking before we came on the air, Tyler. A very young team for Coach Eric Miracle. This is a team that does not feature anybody from the class of 2015 on their roster. No, all juniors and sophomores in this team. So obviously a lot to look forward to next year when Coach Miracle will have 11 seniors on that squad. But for them, they're, they're riding the playoff hunt, which is a good thing for them. They've moved into a stronger district this year. Remember, before Richardson schools were in the district with a lot of the Dallas schools, some of the easier teams in volleyball to beat. And he likes that they have a step up in competition, but at the same time, that makes it harder to make the playoffs if you're Richardson. And uh, as we mentioned right now, the Eagles won game ahead of Horn High School from Mesquite for that final playoff spot in the district. Let's run through the rosters uh, for you just as they will here at uh, Highland Park Gymnasium. For the Eagles, first of all, in the purple jerseys, Maddie Cochran is number six. She is a junior, one of 11 juniors on this team for Coach Miracle. 
Hannah Gooch, number seven. Brooke Harris wears number 13. Elena Hornbeck is number two. Brianna Lester wears number 12. Sydney Nobles wears number eight. Number five is Raven Presley. Chelsea Raymer is number 14. Anna Shulton is number nine. She's a junior. Grayson Sintel wears number 11. Madison Stengel is number one. Aaron Thorson, number 10, and Riley Wurzberger wears the number three. And the libero for the Eagles is uh, number 18, whom we do not have on our roster, although I would imagine it is one of these names. They have the wrong number with us uh, being here at Highland Park, and so we'll perhaps pick up that name uh, at a break. For Highland Park, they are being introduced now, starting with number one, Madeline No, a sophomore. Fallon Ray, number nine, is their other sophomore and one of their leading hitters on this team. And uh, she had a very good game against Mesquite in the one broadcast that we did for you earlier in the year. Grace Bonnet and Allegra Munoz are the captains, the seniors, and uh, two of the better players on this team for Highland Park. Madeline Bonnet, the junior, Emily Cheatham, is a junior, wears number six. Elizabeth Gilly, another one of their big hitters, wears number 14. Greer Gordon is number seven, and uh, she played in that third set against Mesquite and uh, came on and played very well for Coach Dearman. Monica Moody is number four. She's a junior. Landry Ray, number 16, is a junior. Caroline Downing, number 10, senior. Eleanor Watson, who had a good run at the service line against Mesquite in that second set, wears the number 13. Number 17 is the tallest player on the court for either team tonight. That's Peyton Eisnagel, the middle blocker for Highland Park, and uh, she is a, certainly a towering presence in the middle for the Scots. Katherine Johnson wears the number two, a junior. Emily Kane is number 11, a junior. And that's the uh, roster for the Lady Scots varsity team here in 2014. And, uh, we did get a number on the libero for Richardson. It's Hannah Gooch wearing number 18. And she wears the different colored jersey, the bright yellow jersey. And uh, for the Scots, their libero is number 22. And I remember we had an issue with that last time. Yeah, it's Madeline Bonnet. So Bonnet, the libero, wears the white colored jersey for the Scots. We're glad you're with us, Highland Park versus Richardson here from Highland Park High School. With Tyler Sloan, I'm Ryan Castle, our engineer Matt Graham, and right now the fans rising to their feet. We'll listen into the national anthem here from Scotts Gymnasium. Wonderful job done by one of the students here at Highland Park High School in the National Anthem. And the teams will meet at the net, exchange the pre-match high five, and we'll be ready to go. And uh, Tyler, you have to imagine that the Scots and Coach Dearman are very upset that they dropped the set to Richardson in their first meeting, and the Scots are going to come out and really try to dominate this match from the uh, get-go. It's the second time that they've met them on the year, which means they should have an opportunity to clean up the mistakes that they made in the first match against Richardson. And also, they now know exactly what Richardson has, what they're going to be dealing with. They can make those sort of counter adjustments to what they brought out in their first matchup against Richardson. And both teams trying to counteract what the other team did in the first match could see two completely different 
styles maybe of play unless one team really likes what they have going on and uh, wants to exploit a certain matchup. So for the Scots to begin the match, they will have, let's see here, Madeline No, Grace Bonnet, Fallon Ray, Peyton Eisnagel to go along with number 10, Caroline Downing. And Allegra Munoz, the six on the floor. Madeline Bonnet, the libero, will start the match over on the sidelines. And for the Eagles, we'll try to set their starting lineup as well. Brooke Harris is out there along with Riley Wurzberger. And uh, number 12, Brianna Lester. Number nine, Anna Schulten. This is mostly a junior uh, set of girls out there right now. Their libero, Hannah Gooch, will start the match on the floor. And Chelsea Raymer is out there as well. For the Eagles, Madeline No, one of the more lethal servers on these uh, Scott ball club, will get us going as the Scots serve in the court to our right, Eagles in the court to our left, and we are underway. And right off the bat, Richardson sets Raymer in the middle, and she punches one down for a Richardson point to make it one nothing, and the Eagles off to a good start. Just nobody in the middle there for Highland Park to block the quick set up the middle. And here comes the service. That's played on the back line by Downing. Quick set in the middle. Eisnagel didn't get a lot of contact on it, but it was tough to play for the Eagles, and Eisnagel with the kill. Sometimes the defender expects the contact to be clean, and sometimes that little bit of off contact when you just get a piece of the ball Causes it to float enough to where it messes up the timing of defenders. Certainly worked there for Eisenhower. So now Bonnet will serve it. Grace Bonnet from the near corner. And she serves it middle of the floor to Gooch. And a block at the net by Downey and Eisenhower on the double block. And this time the Eagles tap it over the block. And they kill him with kindness on the little tap over Ray and Eisenhower right at the net. So 2-1 Richardson just underway. First set here from Highland Park. The Scots versus the Eagles. Here's the service by Gooch. Played on the back row by Madeline Bonnet, who has come on as the libero. And they set to Ray on the right side, and the lefty winds up and pounds one off the block for a kill. And a quick substitution will send Ray to the seats. And now Allegra Munoz back in for Highland Park. Here's a good service, played pretty well by Gooch. Tap over and a pancake dig on the back row by Bonnet. They'll free the ball over. Set in the middle and a big attack and a kill for Richardson. They have really come out and played well in the early going. Raven Presley with that attack. And Richardson by one in the early going, three to two. The Eagles will go back to serve. Up by one here in the first set. And that's not played well in the back row by Bonnet. But a good set by Bonnet to the near side. Downing with the attack. But she does not get good contact on it and hits it into the bottom of the net. A hitting error against Caroline Downing. There's a service by the Eagles. Doubling up the Scots right now. 4-2. to two, Bit of a surprising start. Downing has to just tap it over the net on a tight set. This set is off, played easily by Highland Park in the back row. That hit the rafters here at the gym, but the Scots able to recover, and that was Bonnet who had the attack over. Here, Richardson not able to attack the ball back over, and Highland Park will pick up the point. Always tough when the ball hits the rafter to make the adjustment to still get off the good set. No did so when the ball hit the rafters on Highland Park, and able to still get off a good set for the Scots. They end up winning the point. Watson and Ray will come on for the Scots here. Landry Ray to serve on a jump serve, middle of the floor, played by Gooch. And they'll set in the middle. Presley with just a tap over the net. That's played very easily by Ray. And now Downing with a chance from the near side, played well by Richardson. This attack goes off the block. Bonnet with a far side set to Munoz. That is blocked right back in her face. Picked up by Bonnet. Back to Munoz. This time, she is able to hit it off the attack. And Richardson is able to get good defense and play the ball over. Attack in the middle, Munoz. And this time, there's no doubt. Munoz with the kill. Highland Park was not to be denied. And they have tied the first set at 4-all. Munoz should have gotten a kill on her previous shot, but one of Highland Park's 
Banners up in the Raptors actually slowed the ball down, allowed Richardson to play it over. And justice was served indeed there, Tyler, as uh, Munoz ended up getting the kill regardless. Here's Munoz again, and that one is wide. Munoz trying to go cross court on the attack from the far side, unable to get it in play. And Richardson right now clinging to this one-point lead. 5-4 opening set. Highland Park and Richardson, District 10-6A Volleyball. Here's a great dig by Bonnet, and uh, Scotts are able to get it over. Ray punches it into the top of the net. It rolls over the tape and in for a point. Good hustle by Madeline Bonnet to keep that point alive, and then Ray with the little punch over the net. That serve had so much topspin, and Bonnet a tremendous job to save the point for Highland Park. And now a service error against Caroline Downing, and she will come off the floor to be replaced by Katherine Johnson on the back row. So 6-5, to five, Richardson leads. We're in the first set of this best of five match. Very back and forth so far. It'll be interesting to see which team goes on the first run of this first set. And here is the service that's played well by Bonnet. Back set here to Munoz, and that is in there for a kill. They have set Munoz often early on, and she has not disappointed to this point. Well, she's pretty much dialed in. That was great execution. Gained the shot deep towards the back line. Stretching the defense. Nice work. So we are tied at six. And Highland Park with the service. This is Munoz, and that is long. They say just out the back of the court. And a heads-up play by the Eagles to watch that ball pass by for a service error. The Eagles with the serve and the lead at 7-6 here in the opening set. And the Eagles will go back with Chelsea Raymer. She comes with a soft service just over the front of the net. Bonnet is set to the near side, and this attack is a bit too strong. The Scots have had their trouble hitting the ball early on. This is probably the third or fourth hitting error against Highland Park, and Richardson has its largest lead of the match at 8-6. to six. Another short service by Raymer, played well by Bonnet, and they set in the middle of the Watsa, that's blocked at the net. Highland Park recovers, Ray is blocked! Double block at the net by Richardson, and Ray, who is not used to having the ball blocked back in her face like that, sees Richardson go up 9-6 to six here in the opening set. Another short service from Raymer. Popped up in the air by Ray. Back set to the near side for Bonnet. That goes off the top of the block. Played well by the Eagles, and they'll set behind the 10-foot line. Played well by Highland Park. Back set again to Ray. This time she gets it past the block, but cannot find Pater. Nice play by Ray, and they'll get it to Bonnet again. Richardson's really playing some great defense. Set up. Nice play by Ray. Bonnet will back set to her sister, Grace. That's played by Gooch. Not a great pass, but they'll manage to free the ball over, but out of bounds for a Highland Park point. War of attrition right there. Highland Park just kept battling and battling and battling to beat the Richardson block, which was spectacular on that point. And eventually, enough firepower from the Scots to win the hard-earned point. So the Scots back to within two. It's 9-7. And Madeline No sees her turn come up back at the service line once again. The sophomore will wind up and let one fly. That was not played well by Gooch. They're going to have to really get a good set. They don't. And Gooch has to hit it over from way off the line. Here's a great set to Bonnet. Blocked at the net. And now to the right side, Ray. Down the line. Yes, it counts. Fallon Ray with the kill right on the chalk. And the Scots back to within one, nine to eight, and they have their best server at the line right now. It's a great leap by Ray, and she hit the ball at the apex. They will get that steep angle to get it over the block. Here comes the service by No. And that is played on the back line by Gooch. And a quick set played well by Ray. No with a set to Grace Bonnet. Little tap over the net. Good pancake dig out there by Richardson. Perfect pass up to No, and a set in the middle, miscommunication. Eisnagel just has to pass the ball over. Now, left side to Bonnet, hits it off the block, and nobody there on the receiving end for Richardson. It falls in for a Highland Park point, and we start over at 9-all here in the first game. I like what Bonnet did on that particular point. She went with a changeup early on her first hit to get it over the block. Made him see a different 
sort of shot and then hit him with the fastball. So no with three consecutive at the service line now as the Scots have gone on a run. Eisnagel with a tap over the net. And the Eagles come over on two, played easily by Highland Park. Grace Barnett cross-court attack. That's passed back over the net. Pretty good dig there by Richardson. Eisnagel on a quick set in the middle. Played well by the Eagles, and they have really played great defense so far. Speaking of great defense, that was Bonnet who got that ball up for the Scots. Unfortunately, it was an overpass right to Brianna Lester, who was waiting to punch one home for a kill. 10-9 Richardson. This has been quite the surprising start from the Eagles, and now a service ace. A ball that cannot be played on one by Fallon Ray. And Richardson back up by two. This is Wurzberger back at the line. Pretty good service played by Johnson. Back set to Ray. The lefty winds up off the block. Gooch keeps the ball alive, and they're going to free it over. No. In the middle. Eisnagel, tough angle, able to get the shot over. And now a back set. That's punched over by Richardson. Played by Ray. No. Left side, Grace Bonnet. That tipped the, the uh, top of the net. And here's an attack by Richardson way out the back of the court. A little bit too much mustard on that attack. And Highland Park will take the point. It's just a little hectic at the moment on Richardson's side. When Highland Park gains control of the point, they seem to be dictating things to pretty well. But Richardson is just using their scrambling ability at the moment. Grace Bonnet with the serve. Played by Gooch. Tap over the net by the Eagles. Here's a nice back set by Madeline Bonnet and a tip of the net. I believe that was Downing who redirected the ball towards the side there and was able to get it for a point. Oh, I beg your pardon, they say it was wide. So that point actually belongs to Richardson. They say that Downing's attack was wide. And, uh, Coach Dearman clearly upset on the Highland Park side. Here's the service with the Eagles leading by two. Madeline Bonnet, perfect pass up to no. Back set Ray, that's off the double block. Double block at the net from Brooke Harris and Elena Hornbeck. 13-10, Richardson. The Eagles are more than halfway home to a set one win here against the Scots. Bonnet with a good pass up to the front to no. And Downing comes flying in, that's blocked again. This time it's number eight, Cindy Nobles with the block. And the Scots are a little shell-shocked here. Down by four. The hitting has been off. And the serving has not been what it was against Mesquite earlier in the year. Ray is blocked again. The Scots are going to have to change something up up front. That is the third or fourth time that Richardson has been able to set up their double block and executed it to perfection. And how soon will Coach Dearman call a timeout here? Highland Park, they're just in into the middle of most of Richardson's blocks. All the pace isn't working. This is now a 6-1 to one run for Richardson before that service error. And that will give the serve back to the Scots. Down 15-11 to 11 here in the opening set. Madeline Bonnet to serve it. Knuckleball. And in the middle, that's off the top of the block. Played well by Grace Bonnet on the back row. And Eisnagel short-armed the attack into the net on a quick set in the middle from No. It's another hitting error against the Scots. Make it 16-11. Richardson by five here in the opening set. And not at all what the Scots were expecting from this match. Still plenty of volleyball left to be played. And Highland Park, the number nine team in the area coming into this week's action. So clearly, they are the better team. Richardson under 500 on the year. So if the Scots can pick things up here and uh, figure out a couple of adjustments, they should be fine. They get the point here, 16-12, and Eleanor Watson will come on for Eisnagel. Richardson's sub-500 record's a little bit misleading because I believe they started the year 2-12. Two and 12. They really rallied in the second half of the season. They've gone to be a much better ball club. Uh, here's a service error by Landry Ray. Right now the body language for the Scots is very alarming. And, uh, let's see, the Eagles trying to take advantage. They're up 17-12. Here's the service played by Grace Bonnet. 
perfect pass up the way, and this time Munoz, who has been the one they have called on in a time of need, delivers a kill. And great job by Eleanor Watson to provide the fake on the other end. Two different options Highland Park could have gone to on that play, so Richardson was confused. That's how they found the opening. 17-13, the Scots down by four. And this point is going to the Eagles. Tyler, was that a Highland Park violation in the, the net? net. Yep. So a violation into the net on the Scots. Coach Eric Miracle off the bench, encouraging his team. They're up by five. So we wind down this first set from Highland Park, 18-13. Richardson with the lead and the service. Played well by Bonnet. Ray with a great back set. In flies Munoz, and again, a kill. But let's see here, they're going to say Richardson was in the net. So regardless, Highland Park picks up the point. And now Munoz will go back to the service line to try and pull her team out of a four-point deficit. Stationary service goes up the line. An overpass battle at the net. That's blocked by Ray. Landry Ray now with it, and Bonnet from the near side off the 10-foot line. Good to block up the net. Eleanor Watson and Fallon Ray combining on the double block to give Highland Park the point. And this could be the turn of momentum in the first set. Highland Park can look to start a little bit of a run with Allegra Munoz serving. Munoz back at the service line again. Line drive, this time a pretty good pass up to the net. Punch over, not good contact, and they're going to call a double contact violation. That's the correct call against Richardson. And the Scots will pick up another point. Now Highland Park down by just two with Allegra Munoz back to serve it again. And a line drive service played pretty well by Richardson. And that is blocked up front by Ray again. Fallon Ray, a single block that time. Highland Park back to within one and a timeout called by Richardson. In the opening set here from Highland Park, it's the Eagles 18 and the Scots 17. Scots volleyball will continue in a moment. Leaving his wife and three children, struck down in his prime by the same disease that got his father, so he won't be around to take care of his family. And the Here we are back to play out of the timeout. Richardson trying to break the service of Allegra Munoz. Good set in the middle. Watson, but they say it's long. A bang bang play back there on the back line. They call Watson's attack long and. Richardson back up by two, 19-17. It's a good time out there by Coach Miracle breaking the serve of Allegra Munoz. Now Raymer will go back to serve for Richardson. Floats one over. Ray with a back set to Fallon Ray, and that is in there for a kill. That time Richardson Tyler didn't have time to set up the double block, and Ray found the opening. Well, he did Ray a fantastic hit. Just able to whip it right on the side of the block. Highland Park within one. Here's the service by Madeline No. Played by Richardson. Cross court set. Punched over. And that's past the back row of Highland Park. The Scots were out of position there. Katherine Johnson unable to get to the ball. 2018 Richardson clinging to the small lead here in the opening set. No, on the near side to Grace Bonnet and that attack is long. Grace Bonnet has been off the mark so far in this match. 21-18 Richardson by three. And she's just hit a couple just a little bit too long on the far baseline. Just needs a Put a little bit more topspin on the ball to get it to drop. Here's the service. Played by Munoz. Pretty good set to know. And has to be tapped over the net. 
by Highland Park. The Scots might have gotten away with being in the net right there. Emily Cheetah has just come on for the Scots. And Highland Park will pick up the point here. So 21-19, Grace Bonnet quickly back up off the bench for Cheatham. And she will come in to serve it. Pretty good serve, played well by Richardson. And they will go cross court on the attack, played by Grace Bonnet. And now Downing on the near side goes off the top of the block. And that floats past everyone for a Highland Park point. The Scots have been challenged here in the opening set, but right now, a chance to tie the match with Grace Bonnet back to serve. Coach German's done a great job lately of making some substitutions, making sure that his team has balance on the back line and front line. There's the service by Grace, played pretty well by Richardson, and they'll have to attack that off the 10-foot line, blocked at the net, and Eisnagel again! Well, that was an overpass right to the six foot three Peyton Eisnagel, and she knew exactly what to do with it. We are tied at 21 here in the opening set. Eagles have to do a better job setting the ball. That overpass is right to Eisnagel. The sets have just not quite been close to net enough for Richardson this first set. Again, the serve played by Richardson. Grace Bonnet up to no. Back set Fallon Ray. That's off the top of the block. And Richardson able to recover. Gooch with the set up to the net. And now No goes cross court. Downing comes flying in again off the top of the block. Played well in the back row by Richardson, and they'll attack it over, but into the net. A tough attack to get over right there, about five or six feet off the 10-foot line. And Highland Park, I believe, has its first lead here in the opening set, 22-21. Timeout is called by Richardson. It's a great job by Downing to set up that point. She hit it deep enough to where Richardson had some trouble, getting the ball closer to the net. And also, she did a good job in mid-air making an adjustment on her approach, and that's what set up a clean hit for Downing. So we'll get the uh, game tracker updated here. The score in the opening set here from Highland Park is the Scots 21 and the Eagles... Uh, I beg your pardon, Scots 22, Eagles 21. Scots leading by one. And Grace Bonnet will be back to the service line for the Scots here. comes the service. Played by Gooch. Set on the near side for Lester and Highland Park can't handle that. It's too hot to handle from Lester. Tied again at 22 all. So it's the first team to three here. Highland Park in danger of going down a set to the Lady Eagles. Here's Gooch. Stationary service from the middle. No, on a back set, Fallon Ray. That's a kill. In between two defenders on the back row from Richardson. And Ray able to find the opening with a fantastic vision. It's impressive from the sophomore. The tension really rises as you get to the end of a close, tight set. And can you hold your nerve on your shots? Fallon Ray did so on that occasion. Here's the service. Played by Richardson. Tapped over the net. Madeline Bonnet. There to pick it up for the Scots. Munoz with the attack over. No, with a pass. And now Eisnagel has to just free the ball over. In the middle, that's blocked at the net, but still on the side of Highland Park. And Richardson will get the point and will be tied again at 23. Now the one difference in the... Well, the uh, advantage here for Highland Park, you'd have to say, is the experience. You know, these girls have played deep into the playoffs. They've been in tight matches, late in sets. Richardson, as we mentioned, a young team. No seniors on their team. There is no a back set. Munoz, the captain, is blocked at the net again. Raven Presley, this time with the emphatic two-handed block. 24-23, Richardson with the lead. Timeout, Michael Dearman. The Scots want to talk it over here at the end of the opening set. And the Eagles one point away from taking the lead in this match. And now what the Scots need to do on this next point is first things first, take care of the serve. Make sure that you 
get it to the setter in a position where they can make a clean pass and they're not having to scramble around the court trying to come up with something difficult. Highland Park is going to have at least one shot in this point as long as they handle the serve to get the kill. They just need to execute their offense and make sure they get it around that Richardson block, which has been extremely tough this entire first set. How about the Lady Eagles coming out on the road? Tough place to play. Tough team to play, number nine in the area right now. A team that comes in with a record of 23 and 11. That, of course, being Highland Park. And the Eagles have given them everything they've wanted so far in this match. Madison Stengel will serve it for the opening set. Played by Bonnet. Bit of an overpass to no, and flying in is Munoz at the very tip top of her jump, able to slam it home for a point to tie the opening set. Credit Madeline No when they needed it on what would have been set point, or was set point for Richardson. She comes up with a great set, and Highland Park evens this thing at 24 all. Here's Landry Ray coming on for the Scots to serve it. And a good play by Grace Bonnet. Bit of an overpass into the net. Great job by Ray to dig that pass out of the net. And the Scots able to free it over. But it ends up not mattering as Presley gets the middle set and pounds it home to give Richardson the lead once again. And again, another set point here for the Eagles. Played by Grace Bonnet to Ray. And that is attacked into the net by Watson. The point and the set to Richardson High School, 26-24, and the Eagles lead the match one set to nothing. We'll return for game two. Our coverage of Highland Park Scott Volleyball will continue in a moment. Confusion over someone or have sudden... Have you ever had sudden confusion, trouble speaking, or understanding someone? It could be one of the five signs of stroke. Sudden weakness or numbness of the face, arm, or leg. Sudden trouble with vision in one or both eyes. Suddenly having trouble walking or difficulty with balance. Or a sudden intense headache that comes out of nowhere. Don't wait. Call 911 immediately. Time lost is brain lost. Find out more at PowerToEndStroke.org. Brought to you by the American Heart Association, American Stroke Association, and the Ad Council. Oh! You are round MVP. Yeah, man! Yo, Drew, I finally got round MVP. Round MVP. No way! That was some ownage. It's a good thing you got me as your wingman. Right. You mean when you threw that flash grenade at me? Whatever, man. Huge round. Seriously, great stuff. Finally earning round MVP takes determination. So will getting into college. I've got what it takes. All right, class. I'm going to pass back your tests. And a high score goes to... Brian. Oh, Aww. yeah. High score, baby. We're all good at something. Maybe it's break dancing or skateboarding or video games. Whatever you're good at, you have the skills to make it happen. And those same skills will help you get to college. Visit knowhowtogo.org to learn what you should be doing right now to prepare for college. Start taking the steps at knowhowtogo.org. I've got what it takes. So do you. Brought to you by the American Council on Education, Women of Foundation, and the Ad Council. Back here at Scotts Gymnasium with Tyler Sloan and our engineer Matt Graham. I'm Ryan Castle. Thanks for being with us on our coverage of Highland Park Volleyball. Here on sportsgram.net, the Scots in an unfamiliar position here. Down a set to the Richardson Eagles, 26-24. The Eagles really uh, played from ahead a majority of that opening set. And uh, Tyler, what would you notice uh, out of the Scots and the Eagles in that opening set? Well, Rich Richardson coming into this game, it it's a must-win week for them. They have two crucial games against Highland Park and, and Horn. They're fighting for their playoff lives, and they just came out, I think, a little, a little bit more hungry to win this game. And they really needed the opening set as the visiting team for Highland Park. Now they have to counteract. They need to protect their home court. This second set now is a must win for Highland Park. Even though they can come back from two sets to down, from two sets to none down, they really want to even this thing up at a set apiece. That way they can feel a little bit more comfortable going into set number three. So the Scots who dropped the set to Richardson in the first matchup, I don't believe it was the first set. It was the second. And uh, that 
prior matchup, but here the uh, Scots trailing the match, one set to nothing. The Scots and the Eagles will now flip sides of the floor. The Eagles will be in the court to our right, and the Scots in the court to our left, and the Navy jerseys. And as the Eagles make their way out onto the floor, the Scots already out onto the floor, and here to bring you the action of set two is Tyler. Thank you, Ryan, for the Scots. They're lined up to start the second set. On the floor will be Fallon Ray, Madeline No. Just bringing in Madeline Bonnet, along with Grace Bonnet. Caroline Downing, as well as Peyton Eisnoggle, the sixth to start the second set on the floor for Highland Park. And for Richardson Eagles, looks like it's going to be Sydney Nobles, as well as Brooke Harris, Raven Presley, Riley Wurzberger, the libero Hannah Gooch, and serving will be Chelsea Raymer. That attack might have been going wide, but it was played by Richardson, and the point will go to the Scots to open up the second set. That was Ray on the kill. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt that that attack from Ray was going wide, but Island Park not opposed to Richardson playing that ball, and uh, the Eagles unable to keep it in play. This is Grace Bonnet to serve. Played well by the Eagles in the back line, and they even it up at a point apiece here in set number two. Lester up the middle. That's been one of the go-to plays for Richardson so far in this match. It's going right up the middle against Highland Park with the quick set, not allowing them to form the block. Yeah, Lester and Presley have played very well for Richardson so far there in that middle, Tyler. Downing to no, back to Downing. Too much pace to handle as the defender for Richardson falls over. And it's 2-1 Highland Park. And whatever Coach Dearman said in between the first two sets really got his girls enthusiastic about playing tonight. Their body language is much better to begin this second set. Tight step there for Richardson. Right into the Highland Park block. Munoz and Eisnagel there to put it back on Richardson's side. And a two-point lead early in set number two for the Scots. It's 3-1. to one. Hey, Scott serving again. It's Madeline Bonnet. And Richardson with a violation there. And it's 4-1 Highland Park. I believe double contact was the call. Again, another tight set at the net. The pass from the back line for Richardson. Not good enough. And that ball was crushed by Munoz, and it's 5-1 Highland Park in set number two. They have come out in a fury. And the Scots have ha left little doubt that uh, they have come to play tonight. Off to a good start here in the second set. It's a great answer for Highland Park to start set number two after losing 26-24 in set number one. One block for the Lady Scots, looking for a second. Sets so playing out the back line by Bonnet Olford to Downing. That ball did not touch over on Richardson's side. As the fourth contact against Highland Park as Downing's shot went straight into the net. Serving for the Eagles will be Gooch. Down 2-5 in set number two. No, all the way cross court. Downing with authority puts one away. Caroline Downing has played very well in this match so far. We have not seen Elizabeth Gilly to this point. She uh, played a big role in their win over Mesquite here a couple of weeks ago. But, uh, Downing filling in very nicely for the Scots on the outside. The serve from Landry Ray is short. That ball sputtering over the net and Munoz's right foot slipped underneath the baseline. I believe they're saying that it was a double contact. Saying that, I believe that was Munoz in the middle. Might have been Watson. Yeah, it was Watson in the middle. Blocked it and then played the ball, which is a legal play. And that's why Coach Dearman here is questioning the official's call. Saying that Watson blocked it 
and then popped it back up, which happens all the time at the net. And the official not wavering in his call, and Richardson will have the point in the serve. It's a frustrating thing as a coach when you can't get the explanation you wanted to for the reason for the violation. Great play by the Eagles' back line. Holland Park, though, controls. Going to Munoz! And it's in. The official on the far side says that one painted the line. And it's 7-3 Highland Park in set number two. Munoz didn't give much margin on her shot there, but hit it right where she needed to. And just a bad serve there from Downing. And you could tell a little shake of the head after she hit the serve. She just didn't get the contact she wanted. She was aiming for a short serve, but not quite that short. So 7-4 Highland Park in set number two. Richardson now serving. And that was a wild one. Service there against Brooke Harris as the ball just fluttered on her and never head downward towards the court. Munoz now will serve for Highland Park as they lead 8-4. Here in the second set. Bad set from Richardson. They'll just have to play it over. Good set outside. The Eagles scrambling well. HP will try and set again. And that ball goes into the net by Watson. So the point goes to Richardson. It's now 8-5. Highland Park leads by three. Give credit to Richardson. They've hung tough after falling behind 5-1. to one. Kind of weathered that early storm from the Scots, and now they're right back in this set. Down 8-5, to five, but they've got the serve. Right now on the floor for the Lady Scots is Watson, Johnson, Madeline Bonnet, as well as Cheatham. As the Lady Scots unable to chase that one down, Landry Ray on the floor as well. And Fallon Ray, the six for the Scots. They lose that point. It's 8-6 Richardson. Served by Schulten. Ray hustling to set it up for Cheatham. And a misplay in the back by the Eagles in Highland Park now leads 9-6. Tyler, it's good to see all of the Lady Scots over on the bench. Every time the Scots get a point, every single one of them is up and cheering. And uh, Greer Gordon, one of the first off the bench over there to cheer. That's uh, number seven for the Scots. There's such camaraderie between this team for Coach Michael Dearman. Over the middle. Good job by Highland Park Block to slow down the attack of Richardson. A push shot from Emily Cheatham. Wins the point for Highland Park. Recognizing a couple defenders out of place. Surprising them by sending one to the back line. Eagles and Scots have split the last six points. Neither team able to go on a run here early on in the second set. The service was by no. Was there a deflection off the block for Richardson? There was. So point to the Eagles. It's 10-7. Highland Park leads in set number two after losing set number one, 26-24. Richardson will make a substitution as Raymer comes back in to serve. The slow floater. Handled well by the Lady Scots. Cheatham has it sent backwards but out of play. So the point goes to Highland Park. They lead 11-7. Cheatham has come on and really provided a spark for the Scots off the bench as an outside hitter. And played well for Highland Park. She heads to the bench for Grace Bonnet, who comes in, gets a great bounce off the net, and unable to handle it were Richardson. Well, that was a tough play <laughs> for Lester. The ball kind of just ate her up on a serve that barely clipped the top of the net. Another tough serve to handle for Richardson. Great work by Eisnagel to get the ball out from underneath the net, keeping the point alive for Highland Park. Ray was caught off guard on the set from No and was off balance when she tried to shoot it over the net. 
with the lefty hook. Good scrambling there from Highland Park and good defense just unable to get back in a position to set up things offensively. Great dig from Madeline Bonnet. Downing plants one in the back row in the back left corner and it's 12-8 Highland Park. Make it 13-8, excuse me. Lady Scots lead by five here in set number two. Bonnet serve, handcuffing the libero gooch for Richardson. Good job by the Eagles to just get it back over. Downing's been the go-to hot hand, but Gooch able to keep it alive for Richardson once more. Tough push shot from Munoz, and it's good for Highland Park. Boy, that was a great designed play right there for Highland Park. Timeout's going to be called here by Richardson. That was a delayed set to Munoz, who came flying in off the 10-foot line. And the uh, Scots had several different options on that. They had Downing flying in up the left side, and then they had Eisnoggle coming around on a 72 slide attack. And the uh, Scots executing that play to perfection. Munoz with a little tap over the double block for the point. You got to appreciate and uh, respect the way that the Scots have played here in the second set, not allowing themselves to be rattled after losing that first set in a close fashion. And they have come out and really asserted their will here in the second set to try and even this match up. They got off to the quick 5-1 and one start to the second set. And that's really been the base of their current six-point lead is getting off to that quick start. Richardson started to start to trade point for point lately, but Highland Park maintains a 14-8 margin here in set number two. A couple short passes by Richardson. All they can do is just tap it over. No, the back set to Munoz. Gets a little help from the net, and it drops on Richardson's end. It's 15-8 Highland Park. Lady Scott's 8-1 in District 10, 6A play. A game behind Richardson Pierce for the district lead at the moment. Now up the middle, Eisnagel delayed, and her attack was in. A delayed call from the official as the linesman with the flag had to get out of the way of Eisnagel's shot before she could indicate whether the ball was in or out. Yeah, the... Richardson fans in front of us a little upset at the call. They might have a case. Looks like the lines judge was out of position to make the call. There's a big kill for Richardson. They needed a big point like that to break the Highland Park momentum. It's still 16 to 9 though. Lady Scots lead the Eagles. And some substitutions coming in for Richardson. Back on the floor is Raven Presley. Gooch floats one over. Handled by Downing in the back line. Noel set it right back to Downing. Arced it over the block, but played by Richardson. Now Madeline Bonnet sets it out wide. Munoz with the attack. Has it sent into the stands by the Richardson block. That's not good enough for the Eagles. Highland Park wins the point. They lead 17-9 in the second set. And Highland Park has made an adjustment on their uh, hitting strategy here in the second set. A lot of those balls that we saw being blocked right back in their face and down for Richardson points in the first set are now being blocked, as you said, Tyler, out of bounds and into the stands. Landry Ray's serve floated a bit too long, so the points of Richardson, they're back within seven points. Greer Gordon has come on for the first time for the Scots up front. Number seven for... Highland Park. She'll play on that far end of the court. And now she goes over the middle as a fake. Munoz with the attack. Great dig out of the back line, though, by Richardson. Now it's Gordon. Another great dig by Richardson. It's two in a row from Stengel. The ball hit out. So Highland Park wins the point, 18-10, lead here in set number two. Good thought there from Richardson, just trying to tap it right over that double block. And unfortunately, they are forced to hit it out. And a lot of credit goes to the Scots block there with a good angle to force that tip to be out of bounds. That's a carry against Richardson, a misplay on the back set. And so it's 19-10, Highland Park. Lay Scott still control 
their own destiny in this district. All they have to do is win out, and they will at least tie Richardson Pierce for the district title and that number one seed from the district going into the playoffs. Set up the middle. It spins off the block. Point for Highland Park. Allegra Munoz again. She's been huge for Lady Scots in this game and a timeout called by Coach Miracle of Richardson. Yeah, Munoz has easily been their most consistent hitter in this match so far. And, uh, boy, what a great job by the Scots here. You cannot say enough about the resiliency of this team. After losing a close opening set, 26-24, they've come out and dominated this second set. And now five points away from evening this matchup as a set apiece. And uh, that would give the Scots the momentum here on their home floor. And the first match of the season between Highland Park and Richardson, the three sets that Richardson lost were 25-15, 25-15, and 25-10, if my memory serves correct. And then Richardson won a set 25-20. So Highland Park in those sets, they were able to beat Richardson the op in their opening match against them at Richardson High School. They were able to win by a pretty secure margin, those sets. And right now, the second set is looking more like that for Highland Park as they have doubled up the Richardson score at 20-10. Perline Downing to serve for Highland Park out of the timeout. That one's going to go long, though. A little bit too much pace on it from Downing, and she will be subbed out for defense as Katherine Johnson, the junior, back on the floor. It's the second time that Coach Miracle for Richardson has called the timeout and immediately gotten the side out. And Richardson was in the net there. Yeah, they're going to call it. Good call. The official right there on top of it. That was Wurzberger on the attack. And they get her into the net. Madeline Bonnet now heads to the bench. And a misplay off the serve. That'll be an ace for Munoz as it went straight through the hands of the Eagles player. 22-11 Highland Park in set number two after losing the first set an emphatic response from the Lady Scots and a great block by Fallon Ray on the roof shot just had her hands overneath the ball extended over the net to send it back down on the touch shot by Richardson 23-11 Highland Park leads two points away from earning the second set victory Played out of the back by Munoz. Set up by Landry Ray over to Emily Cheatham. Puts another one away, and Highland Park has set point. Points. Many set points. They have dominated. And yeah, they have about 13 of them. Second set. Well, and one thing that's really killed Richardson in the second set, Tyler, is their overpasses too tight to the net. We saw it on that play where Ray got the great double block at the net. Even that pass was a little bit too close for comfort to the net for Richardson's liking. They'll have to chase to save this one, and that's not going to be enough. Good hustle by Richardson, but Highland Park earns his second set, 25-11. to 11. Talk about a response there was from the Lady Scots. We'll head to set number three in just a few moments. You're watching Highland Park Lady Scots Volleyball here on the Sports Graham Network. If you're looking for the best all-you-can-eat buffet in town for only $1.99, come to Big Ed's Chow House. If you're looking for juicy burgers, come to Big Ed's Chow House. If you're looking for tender brisket and succulent ribs, come to Big Ed's Chow House. But if you're looking for Big Ed, don't come to Big Ed's Chow House. Big Ed passed away last week at the age of 47, leaving his wife and three children, struck down in his prime by the same disease that got his father, so he won't be around to take care of his family. And the sad part is it all could have been detected early with a simple test, but Big Ed didn't get it. Have you gotten the medical tests you need? For a list of tests every man should have, go to AHRQ.gov. Once again, that's AHRQ.gov. A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. 
confusion ever someone or have sudden have you ever had sudden confusion trouble speaking or understanding someone it could be one of the five signs of stroke sudden weakness or numbness of the face arm or leg sudden trouble with vision in one or both eyes suddenly having trouble walking or difficulty with balance or a sudden intense headache that comes out of nowhere don't wait call 911 immediately time lost is brain lost find out more at power to end stroke dot org brought to you by the American Heart Association American Stroke Association and the Ad Council back at Highland Parks Scott's Gymnasium the score is a set all between Richardson High School and Highland Park after the Clay Scott's take the second set 25 to 11 rebounding after losing the first set 26 to 24 I'm Tyler Sloan here for the Sportsgram Network and now for the call of the third set the broadcast partner Ryan Castle all right, Tyler, thank you very much. Matt Graham is to our left, our engineer, providing the pictures high atop the hardwood here at Scott's Gymnasium. We're glad to have you with us. Our second effort in broadcasting Highland Park Lady Scott's Volleyball. And uh, we'll be back on the air on October the 28th, the final regular season game of the year. Highland Park travels to J.J. Pierce High School, a matchup of the top two teams here in District 10-6A. We hope you can join us for a 7 o'clock first serve broadcast time around 6.50 here on Sportsgram. And uh, certainly hope you can join us for that broadcast as the Scots try and hold on to control of their own destiny. That requires a win tonight, and we are tied at a set apiece as we head to the third set. Eisnagel, Downing, Munoz, No, Grace Bonnet, and Fallon Ray will be the six on the floor for your Scots to begin this third set. Highland Park rebounding well from that first set loss. 25 to 11, they emphatically take set number two. And we are now ready to go. Madeline No will get us underway here in the third set. And now we get to see if Richardson can come out with a similar response that Highland Park showed in the second set. Obviously losing a set 25 to 11 after all of the, the, the high they experienced after winning that first set in, in such close fashion. That can really put a downer on you if you're Richardson. And Highland Park needs to, while they have their opponent down, make sure that they don't let them back up. Unfortunately, I've seen this play out a lot when the decided underdog wins that first set they rarely do anything other than awake a sleeping giant and let's see if that is the case here with Highland Park here comes the service from no played by Gooch up to the front line and a back set tipped over the net great job by Bonnet to keep that ball alive but nobody there to pick her up as Richardson starts set three with a point and they will send Brooke Harris back to the service line comes the jump service played on the back row by Bonnet and a set on the right side Ray comes off the block Richardson couldn't close it quickly enough and Ray with the uh, attack and the kill for Highland Park to knock this third set up at one apiece the passing on the back has been really great for Highland Park lately yeah no doubt about that Grace Bonnet now to serve tough service to play on the back row, Richardson will do well just to get the ball over, and they do. Quick set in the middle, Eisnagel mistimed her jump. And that point belongs to the Lady Eagles. Miscommunication in the middle between Madeline No and Peyton Eisnagel. Two to one, Richardson. And the service from Gooch, played by Madeline Bonnet. Up to No, left side it comes to Downing, and a little tap over the net. Nice dig back over the net by Richardson. Bonnet back set to Downing again. This time it goes cross court. Gooch diving to her left. Can't get it. Downing a kill and Richardson and Highland Park tied it two here in set three. This match about as close as you can get right now. A set all and two all. And Madeline Bonnet back to serve it. Overpass and that is right to Downing. 
That's just walking in the park right there, downing straight up and straight down to give Highland Park the lead. And when that ball's coming over and you're downing, you know, well, this is going to be our point right there. Gooch with a good dig up to the front line. Tapped over the net by the Eagles. Bonnet will now go far side. Munoz with her first call here in the third set. And she delivers a kill. Coming straight up the middle. Not played well by Gooch. And Highland Park now up 4-2. Madeline Bonnet again from that far corner. Comes middle of the floor. And they'll go in the middle on a 1-2. And that's blocked in the net by Downing. It goes into an open spot in the back of the court. In for a Highland Park point. And the Scots lead 5-2. Highland Park off to a roaring start here in set three. Trying to take full control of this match. And here another overpass. Really tied on the net. And a lift call against the Lady Eagles. Make it 6-2 to two Highland Park. And these points have been quick. Short service by Madeline Bonnet. Back set. And not played well by Highland Park. Tough attack to dig up there by No. Looks like if she let that ball pass by that Bonnet might have had a better chance. But No did not see Bonnet behind her. And Richardson will take the point. So 5-3 to three our score. And the Lady Eagles will serve it. Played well by Bonnet. Left side downing. Tries to go cross court. Attacks the ball into the net for a hitting error. So Richardson with the last two points to get us back to a 6-4 to four match here in set three. And a short service just absolutely dies in front of Grace Bonnet. A service ace here for the Eagles, and that is Madison Stengel right now in a run at the service line. She's Richardson's best server, and she's done an excellent job bringing them back here in this third set. Eyes an overpass right to Presley. Highland Park does well to dig that ball up. Set, and off the top of the block, played by Bonnet. No, back set. Munoz off the top of the block, played well by Richardson. And here's a set off the 10-foot line. Good diving dig by No. And Bonnet will have to free the ball over from nearly the back line. Big jump in the middle. Presley dug out of there by Bonnet. And Downing will attack it long. All right, good defense back and forth from both teams on that exchange. Unfortunately, the Scots on the wrong end of a hitting error right there. And we are tied again at 6-all. Stingle back to the service line again. And the Eagles hanging tough. No. Back set, Munoz comes flying in. That's blocked. But Richardson unable to get it back over, and the Scots will have the point. As Greer Gordon comes back on for the Scots along with Landry Ray, number 16. And she will serve it up for the Lady Scots. 7-6 Highland Park with a serve and the lead. And the pass up by Gooch in the middle. Presley has to punch it over. Not a great pass by Ray, but Highland Park will manage. Munoz with the attack flat-footed into the net. It's a tough one for Munoz to handle. It was coming over her shoulder. She had to stay set and wait for the ball to come to her. Difficult shot to put back over the net. Seven up here in set three. And Richardson's going to get an ace. That ball not played well. Was it tough serve? Highland Park, yeah, very tough, tough serve. Here's the jump service. Bonnet, pass hit the rafters. Ray able to recover. Downing, the set was off. Good block by Presley. Ray has to dump it over into an open area. Set dump that time by the Eagles. And Bonnet over to Munoz now, right side. And that attack too strong. And, uh, Highland Park has fallen back into the hitting errors that plagued them in the first set. 9-7, Richardson by two. Bonnet can't handle the serve. 10-7, Richardson here in the third set with a match tied at a set apiece. There have been a couple of those serves by Richardson that the back line could let it go and it would float out for this Highland a Park point. Little 7-2 spurt for Richardson. Bonnet with a good dig. And now downing from the 10-foot line cross court. Yes, they say. Just on the line, far side. Not an easy angle for Caroline Downing, but she's able to pump it in for a point. 
I have no idea how she found that angle. Coach Miracle was right on that line, and he shook his head in, in, in acknowledgement that it was just clipping the line over there. So Coach Miracle, he knows it was a heck of a shot there from Downing. Emily Cheatham has come back on for the Scots. Landry Ray will serve. Very tough top spin serve to handle. In the middle, Presley off the block. Great dig by Ray. Uh, Johnson, I beg your pardon, up to Ray. Right side now to Munoz, who has the kill. And Johnson with a good defensive play. She'll be rewarded by going back to the service line now. Highland Park down 10-9 to here in set three. And that cross-court service sails wide. And on the contact, she just got too much on the right side of the ball, and it made it spin outward wide of the mark. So 11-9. After Highland Park had cut a three-point deficit down to one. And now the service on its way from Schulten. And Highland Park again cannot handle it. Richardson, you mentioned it, Tyler. We were curious to see if they could bounce back from that big loss in set two. 14-point loss. And they have done just that. Johnson, good defensive play to get it up to Ray. Munoz just has to come tapping it over the net, flat-footed. Here's the set to the far side and a big wind-up and a kill for Brooke Harris. 13-9. Now three straight points for the Lady Eagles to take a four-point lead. Here's the service played by Bonnet up to Ray. Set to the near side. Cheatham off the top of the net and it falls in for a point but they're going to say a violation that ball hit the antenna and so the point belongs to Richardson Highland Park desperately out oh, let's see here this is a giveaway point for Richardson the server stepped on the line not something you see very often but a careless mental mistake right there by Richardson to give Highland Park the point that is not the thing that you would like to see happen when you're playing the number nine team in the area to give them free points like that. But Highland Park certainly not against charity. Here's an attack that goes far and wide from Harris, a hitting error. And now Highland Park back to within three, 14-11. And Munoz is going back to serve it. Played by Harris and a set. That's going to be a lift. Not a good set there. A violation against Richardson. And the Highland Park Scots now with three consecutive points to cut the lead back to two. Munoz, flat-footed serve from the far corner. Harris might have gotten away with another lift. There's a little tap over the net. Beautifully done. Very savvy play by Brooke Harris right at the net to kill him with kindness on the little tap past the double block. Even though Highland Park lost that point, good job by Munoz serving to help get him back within three. As it's 15-12 Richardson at the moment. And Highland Park, they're going to need to use their serving ability to help bring him back. Here's Raymer. She likes to float it over and does here. Johnson comes flying in. Set up by Ray. Yes, a point for Highland Park as the Scots caught the Eagles off guard. Well done by Ray on a set dump on two. That's just terrific. That's so difficult to be able to make that play on a ball that wasn't even that high for Ray to be able to put over the net. Great individual effort. Now Madeline No with a service, and that is an ace for Madeline No. Gooch diving, couldn't get it. And Highland Park now back to within one after trailing by as many as five here in the third set. No again will go back to the serve. The sophomore... Again, a tough service to handle. Harris, and that is in. Just in front of the back line. Highland Park may be a bit out of position there. And Richardson will take the serve back over, leading by two. Harris has been one of the players that even though the back line for Richardson's had trouble passing the ball, she's bailed him out a couple of times with some great plays up at the front of the net. Good play by Johnson. Not a great pass, but No will manage to get it to Ray. And Ray, as she so often does, just winds up 
and pounds one over the net. Played by Richardson. In comes Ray. That one is kicked up into the air by Harris. Not even that could have dug that ball out. There she goes again. Set her Ryan winding up and just cracking it back towards the other end. That sophomore has a lot of ability for Highland Park. And they have a couple of sophomores, Noah and Ray especially, that do such a tremendous job, and they're steady members of this Highland Park squad. Here's the service by Grace Bonnet. Barely sneaks it over the net. It is passed back over, played by Madeline Bonnet. Now Ray again. Well, she started off the match a bit cold with hitting errors and hitting into the block. She has found her groove here in the third set, and we are starting over at 16 apiece. Grace Bonnet will serve it, played by Gooch, middle of the floor. Up to Raymer, and that is way out, nearly out the basketball boundary. And Highland Park leads here in set three by one. Scots have gone on quite a run here. An 8-2 run, now make it 9-2 on another ace off the right hand of Grace Bonnet. What Bonnet did so well on that serve was didn't give him much margin over the net, came in really short, and so the player for Richardson had a tough time seeing the ball. It was right around her neck level, so she didn't know whether to put her hands up or try and go back to try and bump it over. Definitely fooled her a little bit on the serve. So the Scots, with a timeout on the floor called by the Eagles, leading by two, and uh, what resiliency we've seen from this Scott team. Not only coming back from that first set defeat, but now after trailing this third set by as many as four. Coming back to lead it right now by two, but Tyler, Coach Miracle has done a good job with his timeouts tonight. His team has responded each and every time with a side out. And he's picked the, just the right moment each time to call the timeouts. He hasn't let this set get too far away from his team. They've given up the lead, but making sure to call the timeout while they're still within a couple points. And when he knows his Highland Park's on a serving rhythm, got to do what you have to do to try and affect the game. Here's Bonnet again. Gooch able to just get the ball up, and Richardson does well to just get the ball over. Perfect pass up to no. Ray knocks it off the top of the block. Someone was into the net, and that someone is wearing a purple jersey. It's a violation against Richardson. And Highland Park now on top, 19-16, and Bonnet will go back to serve it again. Great eyes by the official, spotting the vibration in the net. Here's the service. Again, not a great pass, but Richardson able to manage. No, passes it to Bonnet. Now Ray comes flying in, cross court out. Not by very much, but Ray with a big attack there. Couldn't quite get the angle straight down. So 19-17. Richardson trailing by two. They've got the serve. Hannah Gooch will go back. Number 18, their libero. Played by the opposite libero, Bonnet. And now Downing, who's back onto the court, delivers coming straight off the bench and into the score sheet with another kill. This one coming cross court to put Highland Park on top 20 to 17. Fallon Ray will go to the bench to be replaced by Eisnagel. Back set, Presley has to bump it over. Played by Bonnet, up to no. Cross court set, Downing again flies in. This off the block, down for a Highland Park point. Great and attempt by the Richardson block, but they just weren't close enough to the net. That allowed that shot from Downing, instead of deflecting back over on Highland Park, to deflect straight down on Richardson's side. A 12-3 run for the Scots to take a four-point lead. Great dig by Bonnet. Tight pass, tight set. Eisnagel doesn't matter. Able to punch it home for a point. Timeout Richardson. Coach Miracle wants to talk it over as Highland Park has gone on a 13-3 run here in this third set to grab a 22-17 lead. We've seen a couple of special plays by Highland Park in the set, and that was one just there where you mentioned tight set by No, did all she could to get it towards Eyes Noggle, and Eyes Noggle in midair, making the adjustment, going through her, her mental process, realizing what shot she needs to play, just able to push it right back over a sharp little dump to give Highland Park now a five-point lead in the set when they trailed by, by five earlier in this third set, and 
This is the one that can give you that two to one set lead going into the fourth set. Puts you in control of the match and Highland Park has definitely taken control of this match. Well, I highly doubt that Coach Miracle is into any type of moral victory, but you certainly have to feel good about the way his team has played. If you're a fan of Richardson, after not scoring any higher than 15 and three set losses in the uh, first match. They did take a set from Highland Park, so they were able to do that again tonight. Here's Eisnagel on a 72 coming to the right, and she pounds it home on a kill. If Highland Park now a 14 to six run and a six point lead. A 14 to three run, I beg your pardon. And here's a service ace. Gooch couldn't play that serve. Madeline Bonnet right now is serving it for Highland Park. And the Scots now have set point 24-17. Here's the serve. It is played by Harris. That ball might have been wide. They have to free it over and they can't. Highland Park, after falling behind 14-9 in that third set, go on to win it 25-17 and they take a commanding two sets to one lead in the match. Game four is coming up next. Our coverage of Highland Park Lady Scots Volleyball on the Sportsgram Network continues in a moment. If you're looking for the best all-you-can-eat buffet in town for only $1.99, come to Big Ed's Chow House. If you're looking for juicy burgers, come to Big Ed's Chow House. If you're looking for tender brisket and succulent ribs, come to Big Ed's Chow House. But if you're looking for Big Ed, don't come to Big Ed's Chow House. Big Ed passed away last week at the age of 47, leaving his wife and three children struck down in his prime by the same disease that got his father. So he won't be around to take care of his family. And the sad part is it all could have been detected early with a simple test, but Big Ed didn't get it. Have you gotten the medical tests you need? For a list of tests every man should have, go to AHRQ.gov. Once again, that's AHRQ.gov. A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Oh! You are round MVP. Yeah, man! Yo, Drew, I finally got round MVP. Round MVP. <laughs> no way! That was some ownage. It's a good thing you got me as your wingman. Right. You mean when you threw that flash grenade at me? Whatever, man. Huge round. Seriously, great stuff. Finally earning round MVP takes determination. So will getting into college. I've got what it takes. All right, class. I'm going to pass back your tests. And a high score goes to... Brian. Oh, oh. yeah. High score, baby. We're all good at something. Maybe it's break dancing or skateboarding or video games. Whatever you're good at, you have the skills to make it happen. And those same skills will help you get to college. Visit knowhowtogo.org to learn what you should be doing right now to prepare for college. Start taking the steps at knowhowtogo.org. I've got what it takes. So do you. Brought to you by the American Council on Education, Lumina Foundation, and the Ad Council. Back in Highland Park with Tyler Sloan and our engineer Matt Graham. I'm Ryan Castle. Highland Park on top of the match with Richardson. District 10 6A volleyball tonight on sportsgram.net. Highland Park with a 25 17 win in set three to take a two sets to one lead. And the Scots have now put the Eagles on the brink of being defeated. The Eagles will need a set four win to, to force a decisive fifth set. The uh, Scots have really played well over the last two sets after dropping the first one, 26 to 24. We're glad you're with us to bring you set number four. Here again is Tyler. Thank you, Ryan. A little reminder of the stakes in this match. Highland Park 8-1 and one in district play at the moment. After the conclusion of this match, there will be four more district games for both teams on their slate. For Richardson, they're 5-4 and four in the district Hanging on to fourth place in District 10-6A, so every win really matters for Richardson. If they could pull off an upset over Highland Park, that would pay huge dividends in their race for the playoffs. For Highland Park, they're in second place in the district, trying to stay within range of Richardson Pierce, who is 9-0 undefeated in district play, heading into tonight's contest. 
to start the fourth set on the floor for Lady Scots. Ray, Grace Bonnet, Eyes Noggle, Landry Ray, Downing, and Madeline Bonnet. This is Grace Bonnet who will pick up the first point of the fourth set. It was misplayed by Wurzberger. And Bonnet hasn't been hitting much over the last uh, two sets or so, but Coach Dearman starts her up on the front row here in set four, and immediately that pays off for the Scots. Senior captain to serve up 1-0 in set number four. The ball really died. Great job by Richardson to dig it out. And the kill from Brianna Lester for Richardson makes it 1-1. Lester has really played well tonight along with Presley. Two very explosive jumpers in the middle for Richardson. Coach Dearman right near the court giving some instructions to his team. Great play from Bonin in the back. A big hit by Ray and a little trouble as that ball got in the air by Richardson located it in midair. And Highland Park leads 2-1 to one here as Fallon Ray will check out and Allegra Munoz checks back in. Yeah, that was a very tough play by Richardson right there. That ball redeflected off of the rafters. The uh, setter was right underneath it to take that pass. Unfortunately, the pass got redirected. Harris hits it over for Richardson. Highland Park sets it up. Munoz has it sent right back at her by the Richardson block, and it's 2-all. And the Richardson block, which was so big for this Eagles team in set number one, they might have found it again here in set number four. Gooch, the low sinker. Eyes now go down the middle. Great job to control the shot. Able to spin it in, keep it from going too far beyond the baseline. And it's 3-2, Lady Scots. That was really good body control there from Eisnagel. Kind of had to reach behind her for that set. And was able to get a good angle on it and put it right where she needed to for the kill. Eisnagel going Ray out. Madeline No to serve for Highland Park. That ball hits the antenna. So that point will go to Highland Park. Yeah, as you have to hit the ball inside the antenna in order for the point to count. 4-2 Highland Park. The sophomore, no. Nice low serve, that's an ace. No contact at all by Richardson. As Thorson was a little bit late to scramble towards the serve, and no, really just took the air out of the ball on that one. 3-0 run here for the Scots to open up this 5-2 lead. Can Richardson make an adjustment on Madeline, no serve. She hits this one a little bit more flat. Let's tap back over. Grace Bonnet will play it up to Madeline No. Wide for Downing, trying to go for the sharp cross-court angle. Unable, though, to get it to drop. She hits it into the net, and it's 5-3. Richardson now, trailing by two, will serve. And Downing prefers to take that angle on her attacks cross-court. Very sharp, as you said, steep angle right down the, no uh, the line, the net. Now the tough serve of Madison Stengel. This time it's controlled well by Helen Park. Downing, a deflection. Richardson scrambles and puts it back over on a push shot. But there's double contact called. So the point to Highland Park, the visiting fans from Richardson High School in front of us not happy with the call. But, uh, fortunately for the Scots, their opinion uh, means about as much as you or mine, which is nothing. The service from Johnson for Highland Park. Block though into the net from Highland Park. Watson, as well as Cheatham, were set up well. But just put the top of the tape and back on their end at 6-4. Richardson back to serve. Harris trying the jump serve at the top spin. Hit the netting. And it is now 7-4. Three-point lead for Highland Park here in the fourth set. They could close it out the entire match if they win set number four. Legger Munoz from the near corner. Misplayed in the back by Gooch. She'll have to jump, leaping from behind the 10-foot line to play it over. Watson this time to jump. That or no gave her a bad set, one of the two. Yeah, some type of miscommunication. That's not the first time we've seen that from Watson in the middle tonight. 
These are the things you like to see if you're the coaching staff. Certainly those types of plays in the moment are frustrating, but in a game like this that you're probably going to end up winning, to see some things that you can teach on after the ball game is over is always good. And uh, speaking of teaching moments, perhaps one right there. Yeah, Anna Schulten with a great serve by Richardson from one corner towards the other. Gets it to drop, and no one from Highland Park was home to cover that area of the court. And it's 7-6, Richardson within a point. Great dig by Madeline Bond in the back off the serve. The shot by Cheatham hits back off the block and off her shoulder. And out of play, so point to the Eagles, and they've knotted it up at seven apiece here in set number four. They still are showing some life. Who's your point here? Nothing has been easy for Highland Park here tonight. I've gotten all they can handle by Richardson so far, except for the second set. Ballon Ray drills another one home for Highland Park. They retain the lead 8-7. to seven. There's that one set which Highland Park won 25-11, to 11, where everything went their way, and Richardson seemed all sorts of confused, but every other set has been a back-and-forth affair. Landry Ray will serve all the way from the basketball court baseline on her run-up. The service is low, unable to get it over the net, and it's tied at eight. This will be Raymer for Richardson to serve. Bonnet and Johnson are in the back line to receive the serve. It was Madeline Bonnet. And now it's set up to Ray. He drops one in the back corner. That time, she didn't necessarily bring the big wind up and power it home. She used a little bit of spin to keep it in the court. Yeah, the timing wasn't perfect there. Uh, Fallon might have jumped a little too early, but she's still so powerful in her attack that that still gets a lot of velocity on that thing. The ball just ekes wide, or I should say lawn, from Richardson. So the point goes to Highland Park. Grace Bonnell is back there and watched it just go by. She will be back to serve once more for the Lady Scots as they lead 10-8. to 8. Here in set number four. Good service by Bonnet. It was low. Richardson able to send it over in two. Ray's shot just missing by a couple inches. And it's 10-9. Lay Scott still lead by one. Wurtzberger to serve for the Eagles. And that one is a service error. As it faded wide right. Alan Bonner will serve. Fallon Ray is going to take a break. Checking in for her. I believe that's Allegra Munoz that just checked in. Point for Richardson as they get a kill off the block. Eisnagel saying my bad on that one. She didn't close the block quickly enough and allowed that little gap in the block. And that was what permitted the point. Presley coming back on for the Eagles. She is their threat in the middle. Service from Gooch. Hits off the top of the net and Munoz had no idea where the ball was. And luckily for her, it broke out of play instead of dropping in that short corner and making contact with her. She was befuddled by that net deflection. Madeline No, the sophomore, will serve for Highland Park. Number one. Lay Scott's lead 12 to 10. Oh, misplay on the set. That could have been called for double contact. It wasn't. Munoz off the top of the block. Controlled now by the Eagles. This will be Presley, but Emma Watson was there. Sorry, Eleanor Watson, I should say. Brings it right back with her block for the point. It heads up play there by Eleanor. Right there in the middle to eat up that conservative pass over the net. Punch it right back down for a Highland Park kill. Great save by Bonnet. Chasing it down. Short shot by Downing brings it back over. Blocked by the Lady Scots on one occasion, but a put away for the Eagles. Sydney Nobles straight down. No one was there to cover for Highland Park. That was one of those points where you sort of abandon 
any set plays. You're just scrambling to put the ball back over. Taking numerous deflections. It's 13-11, Highland Park leads. Service would have been on the line. Well played. Out of the back and a crushing drive. Allegra Munoz. One of the captains puts it away in Highland Park leads 14-11. Only four seniors on this Highland Park squad. Grace Bonnet, Allegra Munoz, Caroline Downing, and Eleanor Watson. The four seniors. Harris over the top of the block. Great attempt there by Madeline Bonnet. She dug it out of the floor, but unable to find a teammate. And it's 14-12. Highland Park still leads by two here in set number four after taking two of the first three sets. Harris again thumps one over. In midair, a push shot by Munoz. One's the point for Highland Park. And it's 15 to 12. A great play right there by Munoz. Just offering up a different look on that attack and recognizing that Richardson didn't have anybody behind the block. And a misplay off the serve by Richardson. So the Lady Scots lead by four here in set number four, 16 to 12, with Munoz serving. You really feel like this is the turning point of this set with Munoz back there Highland Park up by four this is where the Scots could really put things away Munoz hit it straight at the defense set up by Richardson they get a great drive from Wurzberger puts one home for the Eagles they're back within three just like that Richardson with the answer both coaches have two timeouts left as neither one has taken a timeout here in set number four. So we're more than halfway through this set. Unless we go beyond the 25 point margin. The shot dropping in for Highland Park. That was Cheatham on the attack. Wasn't a great set, but Cheatham adjusted her body in midair, was able to get it angled just right so that the ball would not go wide and took just enough off of it to where it fell right on the line. Eyes not go back in the game for no. Jump served by Landry Ray. On tight set. Punched over by Richardson. And Eyes Noggle on the quick set down the middle. Puts one home. Peyton Eyes Noggle for Highland Park. And it's 18 13. Anytime Eyes Noggle gets a set like that where she's able to hit straight down on the ball, you can absolutely forget about it. And that was the case right there. Eisnagel, no chance to dig that ball up. Eric Miracle, the head coach of Richardson, will take a timeout. It's 18-13 Highland Park here in set number four. They are seven points away from clinching this match and moving to 9-1 and one in district play. And all they can really do at this moment is win all the games in front of them to set up what could be an epic clash at the end of the year, which we'll have here on the Sportsgram Network against Richardson Pierce on October 28th. Uh, the uh, Scots have Lake Highlands, North Mesquite, and Mesquite in their way of a rematch with Pierce. And uh, again, that Pierce game will be right here on Sportsgram, October the 28th at Pierce High School. We'll be uh, traveling with the team. Hope you'll join us. Lake Highlands third in the District 10 6A race at the moment. That'll be a tough test. Next for Highland Park as well. Great play by Bonnet. Superb play, but a great block. Just too good from Richardson on that occasion. Well, that was great. Really great right there, Tyler, for Richardson. They had the double block on their right side of the net. And then Highland Park with a great transition set to Highland Park's right. And Richardson shifted that block all the way across the net to block Fallon Ray. Great defensive play by the Eagles. Both teams at the moment playing at an extremely high level. Fallon Ray's shot was dug out by Richardson. Now it's Eisnagel from the top of the net. Richardson thinks they have the point as they blocked it over, but the corner flag linesman says it was wide. At first she signaled for a deflection out off of Highland Park. And Highland Park said, wait a minute. No, we did not touch that ball. 
And the linesman said, yeah, you're right, you didn't. The ball is out. It's Highland Park's point. So a little controversy. Highland Park leads 19 to 14. And Lady Scott's the benefactor of that call. Sometimes that's what you need to put away some of these games. Just have one of those tight calls go through your way. Back set there by Richardson. Oh, that's a great play. Wurzburg able to loop it over the block. Tremendous stuff there from the Eagles. A great job by Wurzburger. And Raymer had a great set there on that play for Richardson. Great dig by Grace Bonnet. Ray sends it over. And Lady Scotts will win the point. Had to wait when I heard the officials whistle. Yeah, that was make a, sure that wasn't a violation. It was. It was a, a violation into the net on Richardson. Okay, so it would have been Highland Park point either way. Serve goes out. And so it's 20 to 16. Lady Scott's lead now at only four. Hannah Gooch will serve for Richardson. And they need a multiple point run right now. It's actually 2017. The lead is now three for Highland Park. Back set by Landry Ray over to Munoz. But too much pace as the ball hits into the net. Off the pass from Richardson. And it's 21-17 Highland Park in a second and final timeout. Of the fourth set called by Coach Miracle of Richardson. So it's a chance for the teams to talk things over as Highland Park leads 21-17. Four points away from taking their ninth district win of the season. Well, we've mentioned several times tonight, it has not been easy for Highland Park, but uh, they've shown some resiliency and uh, the ability to bounce back. Hitting was uh, not on par with what uh, Highland Park is used to in the first set, but they figured that out in the second set, winning 25-11. to 11. Fell down in that third set, was able to bounce back with a huge 15-3 to 3 run to finish it out. And now... Four points away from nine and one in district play. And Coach Dearman's going to join us after the game for a post-game interview. And it'll be one of the questions we'll want to ask him is, what was the adjustment that he said in the huddle between that first and second set to bring out what almost seemed like a whole new Highland Park there as they took the second set rebounding from an opening set loss. They took the third set as well. And we're here in set number four, 21-17. Highland Park leads four points away from the match. Another tough service by Madeline. No, Richardson able to bring it back over. Downing has her shot blocked. The Eagles have been great in front of the net here in set number four, preventing easy points from Highland Park. They're back within three. 18 serving 21. Alan Bonnet plays it out of the back. The set from Ray. Downing finds a huge pocket of space between two members of the back line for Richardson. 22 to 18, Highland Park. Three points away now. And serving will be Caroline Downing, the senior. This will be Harris. Taps over the block. Great play by Ray to save it. Grace Bonnet. Punches it over. And Richardson will send it back over. Back set from Ray. Munoz on the run. And they'll finally drop for Highland Park after a couple. Richardson players had a chance to prop it back up. 23-18 Highland Park. They are within two points of clinching this match. Downing. Short service. And miscommunication back for Richardson. Sent over by Gooch. Set it up. Munoz on the run with the kill. And it's match point for Highland Park at 24-18. Got a couple points margin to play with for a situation like that where it's a service error by Downing. Richardson saves one match point. They have to fend off five more if they want to stay in this one. The server will be Brooke Harris. Ray dumps it over. The setter with a nice leap. Puts it away with the left hand and wins it for Highland Park. 25-19 in the fourth set. 
after losing the first set 26-24. They win sets 2-3 and 4, 25-11, 25-17, and 25-19. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back for the post-game show after this here on the Sportsgram Network. If you're looking for the best all-you-can-eat buffet in town for only $1.99, come to Big Ed's Chow House. If you're looking for juicy burgers, come to Big Ed's Chow House. If you're looking for tender brisket and succulent ribs, come to Big Ed's Chow House. But if you're looking for Big Ed, don't come to Big Ed's Chow House. Big Ed passed away last week at the age of 47, leaving his wife and three children struck down in his prime by the same disease that got his father. So he won't be around to take care of his family. And the sad part is it all could have been detected early with a simple test, but Big Ed didn't get it. Have you gotten the medical tests you need? For a list of tests every man should have, go to AHRQ.gov. Once again, that's AHRQ.gov. A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Oh! You are round MVP. Yeah, man! Yo, Drew, I finally got round MVP. Round MVP. <laughs> no way! That was some ownage. It's a good thing you got me as your wingman. Right. You mean when you threw that flash grenade at me? Whatever, man. Huge round. Seriously, great stuff. Finally earning round MVP takes determination. So will getting into college. I've got what it takes. All right, class. I'm going to pass back your tests. And a high score goes to... Brian. Oh, oh. yeah. High score, baby. We're all good at something. Maybe it's break dancing or skateboarding or video games. Whatever you're good at, you have the skills to make it happen. And those same skills will help you get to college. Visit knowhowtogo.org to learn what you should be doing right now to prepare for college. Start taking the steps at knowhowtogo.org. I've got what it takes. So do you. Brought to you by the American Council on Education, Lumina Foundation, and the Ad Council. Here at Highland Park High School, where tonight Highland Park has defeated Richardson three sets to one in District 10 6A volleyball. The Scots dropping the first set of the match 26 24 and then uh, able to rebound with three straight wins 25 11, 25 17, 25 19 to knock off Richardson High School. The Eagles dropped to 5-5 five and five in district play, 14-19 and 19 overall on the year, and Highland Park improving to 24-11 and 11 and 9-1 and one in district play. And the Scots keeping control of their own destiny in District 10-6A with uh, four matches to be played. And the uh, Scots headed towards a showdown with Richardson Pierce on October the 28th, if both teams win their games from now until then, that will be a, a matchup for the district championship. Richardson Pierce winning the first matchup, three sets to one. And uh, Pe Highland Park hoping for a rewriting of the script as those two teams will meet on October the 28th. Making their way up towards our broadcast table, Coach Michael Deerman, along with a couple of his players from tonight's win. And, uh, Tyler, let's send it right along to you, sir. Thank you very much, Ryan. I'm here with head coach Michael Deerman, a couple of players, Landry Ray, as well as Madeline No. And, Coach, that first set you lose by two points, 26-24, but a tremendous rebound in that second set from your team. What did you say during that intermission break to have such an emphatic response in the second set? Well, sometimes as a coach, it's not um, it's what you not what you say, but what uh, what you don't say. And so uh, I took the approach in that match that you know in that first game that you know we just uh, we just didn't play our game, and we allowed the other team to come in and and win on our home court. And I said I don't have to say anything else. I said I I know you're going to take care of it. And that, that's basically it. Sometimes you just put it in their hands, and when you've got a veteran team with a lot of great leadership like we have. They take over from there. So that's that's basically it. Didn't say much. <laughs> <laughs> Landry, let's talk to you first. You had the, the game winning point there at the at the very end and also you had a couple of 
uh, points in that match where you were able to dump a couple of those sets over instead of saying it to one of your teammates, you saw a little opening behind them. What were you trying to do as you read that sort of play? Um, I guess I'm just trying to keep, catch them off guard and um, make sure that they're like staying at their base and stuff so that they stay where they're supposed to be. And what did you notice uh, the difference between Richardson and the first time you played him and the second time you played him? I thought it was a lot more competitive this game. I thought they were like getting a bunch of ups that they hadn't gotten the game before, but it was really competitive. So. And Madeline, your serving was very good in this particular one. You caught him off guard a couple of times. What are you trying to do back there at, at the service line to, to either get an ace or, or to get them scrambling around on their point? Um, the coaches do a really good job at giving us really good spots because they know the players who are bad at passing and stuff. So I really list, try and listen to them, and they steer me right. And how's it feel being a, a sophomore on this team with, with a bunch of juniors and seniors and being able to contribute you know, despite being a sophomore? Um, it's really fun. They have been really good leaders, and they've been showing me the ropes, and it's really good. And I'm sure both of you are looking to try and win the, the rest of these games so you can set up a rematch with Pierce for possibly a district title at the end of the year. How important would that be to you to be able to get a share of the district title? It would be awesome. Great. Very. Very awesome. And <laughs> Coach, one more question for you before we let you go. Obviously, a win like this, a tough opponent in, in Richardson made you really work. What are some of the adjustments you're looking overall for the team to make as they continue to try and work towards you know, peaking at their highest point as you enter the playoffs? Well, it's more about consistency at this point. Um, you know, we're looking at being consistent, reducing our errors, especially the unforced errors, um, you know, and, and really seeing the block a little better. We're, we're not, you know, at the beginning of the match, we had a hard time seeing the block. We definitely got better as it went on, but we can't start matches like that. You know, we just, we, that's, that's more about, it. you know, blocking or a hitting consistency and just inconsistency all, all around. That's basically it. Mm -hmm. Well, Madeline Landry and Coach Dearman, congratulations on a great win for the team and being 9-1 and one now in district play. Right. Thank you very much. Ryan, back to you. All right, Tyler, thank you very much. The final score tonight, Highland Park defeating Richardson in four sets, and the Scots moving to 9-1 and one in district play. At this time, let's thank several people whose work behind the scenes have made tonight's broadcast possible. Our ownership team at Sportsgram is Terry Gregory and Steve Glenn. We uh, certainly appreciate all the fine work that they put in for us to get on the air. Uh, the... Leadership in the Highland Park Volleyball Booster Club, Sylvia Munoz, uh, helping us uh, in numerous ways to get our broadcast on the air, so we certainly uh, thank them. And, uh, of course, Coach Dearman allowing us to come out and uh, broadcast his fine team, who is now 9-1 and one in District 10-6A play. We're glad you could join us. We'll be back on the air October the 28th from Pierce High School as Highland Park takes on Richardson Pierce. A 7 o'clock first serve. We'll go on the air about 6.50 with Highland Park Volleyball and certainly hope you can join us for that. Until then, for our engineer Matt Graham and Tyler Sloan, I'm Ryan Castle saying good night from the Park Cities. Once again, Highland Park defeating Richardson by a score of 3-1. to one. And until next time,